In a world where photogrammetry exists, three programs, 27 low quality images, transparent areas on the model, and we have ourselves a shootout. This test begins with Meshroom. So I made sure to uncheck four CPUs, so it will use a GPU if possible. Uh, this is currently running a 3090, so. Meshroom took by far the longest. We'll see how many times the Samba loops over this one. This is also pretty much the first run I took through these programs. Um, Meshroom, I kept all the specs set to default. Um, Zephyr, I had to customize a bit. And then Metashape, I kept everything at default as well. So I think I'll make a coffee and come back and we'll see if it's done. So 10 minutes, 41 seconds, and we're done. I mean, other than smoothing issues, um, it's pretty accurate. Texture's there. Shape is pretty good. But yeah, other than a lot of bumps, um, Mushroom did a good job. Did take a while. For Zephyr, I did have to make some changes to the settings. If I just kept it in general, I just ended up with a sliver of a mesh. So in Zephyr, on the first section, I changed the first part to close range, then went into advanced to customize those settings. Key point density was changed to medium, matching type to fast. Foot ordering was set to unordered, which I actually believe is a default. But that's the only way I was able to get a proper mesh. Zephyr was by far the fastest. So in 1 minute 43 and we're complete. At this point I was like, wow, this is perfect. Until I kept rotating all the way around and the right side of the vehicle is kind of a mess. It happened with various settings in Zephyr and I couldn't get the right side to ever come out with the image set I had. I'm guessing it probably just needed more images, probably better quality images as well. But I was surprised it failed so badly on the right side in comparison to the other applications. So here's Metashape. This one also completed very quickly. All the settings were set to default. So this is the first time I've worked with this program. It's pretty intuitive. There might also be a batch functionality where you don't have to do this every time. 
The only thing I did change was the uh, texture resolution. I changed to 8K instead of 4K. So here it is in 346. It looks really good. Um, it turned out really well considering the image that I was working with. Both sides rendered out. I do have to learn proper navigation in these programs though. even did a very good job on the front of the car. So here's a wireframe view. 
and I just dropped it in Notch to do a quick test to see if I could use it. Seems to work. So for this test meta shape, I definitely give top marks too. Zephyr was great except for that one side, which turned out to be a mess. If you know the settings I should be using, let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I also included a link to the image set if you want to try running it in the program you're choosing and comparing.